Hey guys. Hi guys, and welcome to Disney Day. There is nothing in between. So baby, we should start living now. Cause we only have this life. Wanna laugh and wanna cry. I don't wanna waste my time. So baby, we should start living now. You know, it's a calling, really. It is, is it? Yes. It is? I'm saying that in all certainty, yes. Okay, well, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna, this is Corey, and today we are headed to Disney's Epcot, which I am so excited about. Epcot is my favorite park, and I just feel like we're gonna have a great day. We're doing a full day in Epcot, so we're doing no park hopping today, which I am kind of excited by. BRB the Skyliner. So we are very excited to spend the day in Epcot. We already have a Guardians Lightning Lane that we paid for. I got frozen this morning and we're gonna rope drop Remy's because we come in via the Skyliner. So it's like the national gateway. So we're right there. So we're very, very excited to spend the day with us. If you're excited to spend the day with us and you're gonna stick around, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of our content from the days previous, hit that subscribe button down below. And the next day is not just previous days. And comment Same. down below your favorite thing about Epcot or what you are most excited and looking forward to us doing today. So, yeah. without further ado, let's head into Epcot and let's ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. up on Remy's. Remy's. We love Remy's. Adorable. Remy's is so cute. And as we were walking the World Showcase, just we're kind of doing like a longer loop because we're going over to Frozen because we have a lightning lane that we can now scan in for. It was for 935, now it's 937. So we were walking by the Joffreys and it reminded me, oh, Corey, during Flower and Garden this year, they have a key lime cold brew. Corey loves anything key lime pie related. So I'm like, oh, Corey definitely needs to try it. So as we were walking through, we're in the America Pavilion. It's at this Joffreys. So now you definitely we need to try it. Yeah, so it has like white white chocolate and key lime, something, whipped cream, graham cracker, Crumble. splash of cream. So it's probably gonna be sweet for you, but I'm excited for you to try it. And it smells delicious. Did you give it a mix at all? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do you like it? Can I try it's actually it? very good. It is sweeter for me. Yeah. But it's not like too sweet, so like I can drink this and be fine. Yeah, I think the second sip I liked a little bit more. I'm gonna give that a seven, maybe a 6.5. Not because it's bad, but because I am someone who prefers, you'll understand this, <laughs> that's cold brew with key lime and white chocolate, like I think syrups. I like when the beans yeah. are the flavor because it doesn't have that like syrupy taste, but I still think it's really good. It's just yeah, sweet. It's so just I'm gonna say 6.57 because I can taste the syrup. I'll give but, it an eight. But it is, it is really good. I'll give it an eight. So that's very much enjoyable. So now we are heading over to Red Frozen. And I'm Frozen? so excited. There was a girl that was just over here that had Bruni, blue Bruni ears. And Bruni never gets the love he deserves. But I love him. Bruni is from Frozen 2, by the way, if you don't know the blue little Fire one. Fire Spirit. Fire Spirit. And then the spirit when he's blue when Elsa like cools him down. We, we also love have Bruni. purple Bruni who We is, have purple Bruni and blue Bruni who stuffed is animals. Bruni when he's on fire. <laughs> and we saw a little Bruni yesterday that I think I like didn't get yesterday, but now that I like don't have him on my little bag, kinda wish that I did. So I'll probably end up getting him today to keep and use at Disney. So let's go ride Frozen. Friends. It has been 
A minute. Well, it's 11, it's 11.30, and we last talked to you and Corey got his cold brew, which was at like what? Nine? Nine o'clock. So we had a busy morning. So we ended up going to Frozen because we had a lightning lane. We scanned in for it. However, when we got on our boat, there was probably like 12 adults, three kids in front of us in the first three rows that were like screaming. Obnoxious. Super obnoxious. Yelled the entire ride. Like made it like a big scene. And, and it, it wasn't made it like, you, like, oh, cute, get excited for the child. No. So they can, no, they were just like, it was a party. And no. I was like, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, it was just like absurd. So we ended up going to guest relations after that and we asked asked them if there was a way that we could have like another basically like frozen experience like redemption for the day so that we can choose when to fry frozen again because it was just not, not the vibe. Okay. No, and it was just not okay. They were super loud. It was really obnoxious. We didn't really care for it. So guest relations was amazing. We ended up getting another Lightning. like experience lane thing and then you know what? We're gonna switch hands because my hands on fire and Corey is gonna hold the camera. I feel, oh, I feel so free. <laughs> I feel like I could swim. <laughs> Feels good. Swim in air. Feels good to swim. Uh, what else? So then, so we did Frozen. Then we ended up doing Single Rider for Test Track. That was our first time ever doing Single Rider. Literally, we were on in five minutes. Yeah, let me tell awesome. you. We like walked right on. And, and it was I would a 60 do minute Single wait. Rider like forever and ever again because it was so nice to just walk right on and like not have to, in theory, like worry. I don't want to say worry, but like the line was 50 minutes and then you if we waited the, just the two of us i was not going to wait for an hour so we right. didn't do that and then what do we do after test track oh we spaceship, spaceship earth. earth so we did spaceship earth that was nice we haven't done spaceship earth since in a like while our first trip or yeah something. hot minute yeah so, yeah it's been a really nice fun morning it is 11 30 now we're headed to mexico, mexico. because we're going to do some lunch we're going to try some stuff from la cantina de Sant no la something day we're going to try food remember. from the Mexican Pavilion. It's their quick service, basically. <laughs> and we've never tried it before, so I'm very excited to try. We'll show you basically what we get. So to Mexico we go, and then we're going to swim. And then we're coming back tonight. We originally had Guardians for this morning, but we decided to change it because Carter and Matt are coming back with us tonight for our dinner reservation and other rides. So we bumped it, and now we're going to Mexico. So we just got all of our lunch stuff. Corey and I have been in this buying three things trying era because we're trying a lot of new things this trip but oh, these yeah. were i'll put them on the screen down below here these were the shrimp tacos with rice and beans and then we also got the i think these are the barbacoa yep. barbacoa tacos with the rice yep. and the beans and then we also got an order of the nachos jalapenos on the side extra side of rice for me sour cream i got a nice fat diet coke what did you get like a fun Jari soda toes, Oh, my favorite is the mandarin orange. I love that one. And here's our view of Epcot. So, so pretty. I got a view right on the water. And here's Corey, and now it's time for us to eat lunch. Alrighty, so we just tried the nacho. Fabulous. The only thing is, is I don't like beans, and the meat has beans in it, so I just kind of like, I know it sounds silly, but I just kind of like dig through until I don't have a bean on my chip, but I've got some tomato, some queso, scoop a little rice on, but... Mmm, so good. Nachos are great. And you already tried the barbacoa? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a little dark, so we can include oh, Corey. Good. You know we're not fancy. We ain't fancy around here. Also, I need a sip of my soda. Yes, we are very fancy, but barbacoa taco was very delicious. Even for a corn tortilla, I'm not the biggest fan of corn tortillas because they usually tend to be grainy, but these ones were a lot like a flour tortilla Better. consistency, so I was very happy with that. Um, the meat was tender beyond belief. Obviously, with the addition of the rice and the um, and the black bean, made an enhancement for me. I know Brianna's not going to do the black bean, but I thought lovely. Was good. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to open my sour cream, so I want to put this on my barbacoa one. Was this? Was the? Um, I almost said was the taco spicy. Was that like tomato None of those sauce spicy? spicy? Okay. Nope. None of those. All right. They're messy, but man, they, these are like the good good tacos. Are messy ones. All right. Cheers. Here we go. Ooh. Right. That barbacoa taco is really good. Okay. Very good. All right, last one. Shrimp try. Want to split one to try? Sure. So then we got the shrimp ones. The shrimp had some slaw, pineapple, crispy fried shrimp. These look also amazing. Fab. <laughs> Fab. Hello, everyone. We have finished up in Mexico for lunch. It was 
Incredible. Amazing. Very good. It was so good. I thought it was delicious. The other thing is when I didn't know that there was actually seating inside. Like I just assumed that we could only eat while we were like outside. So we decided to pull over because I feel like I'm always like gonna hit someone with the camera when I have the tripod, like you know the tripod funny on. About, like, but my arm is walkways. also out. You know what I find funny about these walkways? What? I feel so like oh, common yeah. driving knowledge. The direction you're going, I mean obviously to the Brits are a different story. Yeah. But to the 90% of the rest of the world, on the right, you're going forward. On the left, you're going the opposite direction. I don't right, know so why that doesn't traffic. pertain to walking. No, yo, no. So we finished up at Mexico, it was delicious, amazing lunch. What I was saying before was the outdoor pavilion, like the canopy, I thought was the only place you could sit. There is air conditioning inside, but it was like a 10 degree difference. 10 to 15 degree difference. Beautiful awesome. to sit on the water, like such a core memory moment. I absolutely loved it. So now it is 12.07. We've decided that it is pretty sunny today. There's not, as I say, there's no breeze. There's like a slight breeze, but like only like a, <laughs> it's like a little breeze. So instead we've decided that we're gonna go, we're gonna walk the other side of the world showcase, like Canada, the UK, UK, do that stuff. And then we're gonna actually go back and swim because we haven't enjoyed the Riviera's pool yet and we definitely wanna do that. Even though tomorrow's our rest day and we have a full day there, we just wanna enjoy it today and get some swimming and some sun time in. I'll bring my book down, we'll chill out. Yep. So it's 12.08, we'll probably get back by like 12.30, 12.45, be at yeah. the pool for one. And then we'll end up back in Epcot, but we'll take you to the pool today because I am, I'm ready, ready for pool ready. time. Hello. Hi everyone. Last time you saw us, we were in Epcot when we were talking to you on the trash can. And now you're seeing us in Epcot. In Epcot, showered, post pool. Pool was amazing. I originally was um, going to, delightful. yeah, I was gonna vlog at the pool, but we decided not to because it was just a nice little like relaxing, like two and a half hours. I fell asleep, woke up with like a big red mark on my face and like some of my drool in the towel from the pool. And Corey fell asleep and his face was like smushed on the towel. We had like nice sleeps. <laughs> There's nothing better than a pool sleep after nice like a hot sleeping. morning. Yeah, dude, nice sleeping. So now we're heading to the front of the park because I want to get some cool photos in my t-shirt and Corey's. And then we are headed to ride Remy's again because we had gotten a lightning lane for it because we rope dropped it this morning. And then we're headed to Teppanado with Carter and Matt, which is gonna be fun. Then we're riding Guardians. Then we have an additional like frozen renewal pass. So we'll, we'll do probably do that. Yeah, because I want to do that definitely before the park closes. So to Spaceship Earth. And then after that, to what did I say? Remy's, fingers crossed we can get it. And then to Teppanado, yes. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, hey! Hey! Hi kids. We I bet you're wondering who we are and why like, we're here. It's really it's really quite, quite simple. simple. If you know the reference, comment down below. It's like our favorite thing. But I feel so I say that every video. Every video. So we just finished up Teppanado with Carter and Matt. It was so so fun. It was delish. Oh, here speaking of Carter, she's coming in to check in. He Hey. Hi. <laughs> Corey just got his, what is it, the grapefruit? Schaffenhofer. Schaffenhofer, which we always get in. I just yeah, say grapefruit. Whatever it is in Germany. In. It is 721, so we are actually headed over to ride Guardians now, and then we're gonna do Frozen after, so we just, we're checking in. We had a fun dinner, we decided to put cameras away so we could just kind of like enjoy, be in the moment. I feel like that's the remainder of the day and what it's gonna be, so I don't actually know how long this vlog oh, is going to be, but it might fireworks. be a little short. Oh, we'll definitely film fireworks, but it might just be a little bit of a shorter vlog because we're just kind of enjoying moments with friends, but now we are headed off and we are going to Guardians. Hi friends, today has been probably one of my favorite Disney days of all time. Oh my God, yeah. Like it has so just fun. been so good. I have no idea how long this vlog is gonna be. I feel like we haven't really vlogged much today, but we've just been enjoying the moment, which I feel like it's something that we don't do as much when we're yeah. at Disney because we love to vlog. Our other Disney days, we're gonna make sure to vlog a lot more, but I just feel like today was a little bit shorter. We've been hanging out with Carter and Matt all day. We just rode Guardians. We got Disco Inferno. It was amazing. We've just been spending a lot of quality time yeah. with them and it's just been really fun. So we're trying to enjoy it, but we are getting on Frozen with them in a little bit. We're not gonna stay and watch the fireworks tonight because we're gonna ride Frozen instead and, and just we'll get on the tomorrow. Skyliner. Yeah, and because we have a dinner reservation at Topolino's. Topolino's tomorrow. Also, I'm so sorry, I don't even know if we're blurry or not. I hope we're not blurry. I am always clear. Yeah, we're always, <laughs> we're trying to be our best here. Hi everyone, we are no longer in Epcot. My face is washed. I've got on fresh jammies. Spenny's here, Corey's here. The whole gaggle is here. And we've got some things to talk about. Yes. Today. Yes. 
First is, let's give a rundown of the end of the night. So we ended up getting on Frozen, which you all saw that that's the last time that we saw you was when we were getting on Frozen. Yep. Then we ended up like hauling to the Skyliner, got on the Skyliner and came back here with Carter and Matt. We sat on the balcony, me and Matt got Mickey sandwiches, Carter and Corey got the Mickey bars. And we just had a nice like hour on the deck, just like chatting, hanging out. It is so nice to have friends at Disney if that mm -hmm. makes sense like it's been so beautiful to like have time just Corey and I and also really beautiful yep. to have time with friends like I feel like it's been a really nice mix spurt between the two so that was just kind of how the night went we actually spent a lot of time with Carter and Matt this afternoon so if there's not a lot of vlog footage that's why we were just relishing in the moment but I know there's some things that we want to chat through let's first start with Teponito Teponato the best tepanado experience that I've ever delightful, had. The delightful. food was a 10 out of 10. We ended up upgrading our regular steak to, to filet. the filet. And we got it with shrimp as well. It was like worth so every so single good. $10 it's penny so to good. upgrade. It was delicious. So it's I just wanted so to good. say tepanado was Tepanado was absolutely amazing. incredible. Oh, what song did we get on Guardians? Disco Inferno. Yeah, which we've already gotten. But Carter and Matt hadn't gotten it yet, so they were excited. Yeah, so they were excited. And I like this good one. It's it. actually a really good song for yeah, the ride. It so is. I wasn't too mad about it. But um Yeah, so after Frozen, we started just we were like, okay. The fireworks literally j were just starting as mm -hmm. we were done Frozen. We're like, cool. We have like 15, 20 minutes to make it yep. to the Skyliner. We're gonna make it. Now we're not doing like a gingerly walk. We're walking, mind you. So now we've never watched like, what's the Epcot show? I think it's Fire? called Epcot Forever. Epcot Forever. However, really quickly, we were going to stay and like watch the fireworks. Watch and then at the last minute, we kind of were saying like, oh, it's getting kind of late. Like, let's not, let's go back to the room instead. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tiring. Like we can spend some time with Carter and Matt and just chill out in the room. Yep. Cause we had it all anticipation on staying for the fireworks, recording the fireworks and just getting back to the room when we got back to the room, but we kind of changed our mind. Yeah. So I just wanted to throw that in there that we were going to watch the whole thing and record So it. we'll, I mean granted, like we did like take a look and like watch, but like yeah. we didn't really watch it in full. But let me tell you, what is this soundtrack song Awful. situation? It's Awful. terrible. Like the little kids and like, I don't understand. What are the, the songs? What, there's, I, don't I heard one what song, song I knew, which was a whole new world. That, that was in there. Yeah, like at the end. Didn't even know that. Yeah. And the other thing is the fireworks were beautiful. Colorful fireworks, fun fireworks. Yep. The music, awful. It's terrible. They should put harmonious, the soundtrack with those fireworks. With those fireworks. But see, and here's the thing, and I know not a lot of people liked harmonious because there wasn't a lot of fireworks, and I get that. From a soundtrack standpoint, it was incredible. And then I know not a lot of people like the barges during the daytime, but I feel as though the barges are so essential because at least with Harmonious, it allowed a visual yeah. that you could play with where it's like, watching Epcot forever, you're literally just watching fireworks come out of an ocean. Yeah. And that's it. And I'm like, no, you need something else. So yeah. for me, if I'm rating between the two, I don't care how controversial I am. Harmonious. Harmonious is what I I honestly, and this is what is so sad, we specifically booked a Topolino's Terrace reservation for tomorrow to watch the, to fireworks, watch the fireworks at our dinner table, if we could. And I don't think I will ever, until they change the show, like prioritize watching prioritize fireworks watching in Epcot. The fireworks there. Like ever. Yep. Like literally ever. And that's really disappointing for me because Epcot is my favorite park that like, I don't necessarily know if this is gonna bring it down, but like I loved staying for Harmonious. I loved mm -hmm. staying for Happily Ever After. We just saw Fantasmic. We loved Fantasmic. Like uh, there are nighttime shows that I love to see. And it's disappointing that after a full day in my favorite park now, we loved Harmonious, but now this Epcot Forever is is back or whatever it was. Now granted, we'd never right. seen it before. And like, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it either. I was super disappointed. Yep. So it is now 1037. I've got a nice deluxe cup of macaroni and cheese craft waiting for Winston. me on my bedside table. Winston has been hanging the entire no, but like, time. I literally noticed he's been chilling in this corner. In this corner, corner the whole time. He looks so cute <laughs> with his little 
ears over his eyes. But we're gonna do three favorites of the day. My first favorite of the day was riding Remy's this morning. Oh. We did not ride Remy's when we came yep. back to Epcot the last time. Yep. And we haven't ridden Remy's since September. So it was like almost a full year. And it was just like a really cute ride. We rope dropped it. No, but it was like a longer time. I feel like Actually, we normally no, try months. to get, eight yeah, months, it was like yeah. a, it was a while. So I would definitely say Remy's. I would say my second favorite of the day was we took a break in the afternoon to do the pool. The Riviera pool was so incredible, so relaxing, so peaceful. It felt like we were truly on a Mediterranean vacation and I cannot mm -hmm. wait to have a full rest day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. At the pool, we will be vlogging our rest day so you'll get a rest day vlog next. And I would say my third favorite was just spending the evening with Carter and Matt and like going mm -hmm. to Teppanato, like the whole Epcot mm -hmm. evening with friends. We've never been to Disney with friends. We've never done anything like this before. And it has been just such a beautiful experience yep. to go to Disney with friends. So those are my top three favorites of the day. What are your top three favorites? Uh, mine is Remy's as well. I've yeah. missed that ride so much and I love it. Guardians is just so It is just like good. so good. It's it's ugh, it's so fun. And then I'll be honest, Teppanato. Teppanato did the was dinner was just so today. fabulous. It was so good. It was so good. Well, it is time for us to hit the hay because we are tired, but if you have made it this far in the Epcot vlog, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure to turn on your post notification bell so you never miss an upcoming Disney vlog because we've got our rest day tomorrow. We've got an Epcot Magic Kingdom Hollywood Studios vlog coming, and we've got our travel home day, which has so much fun stuff in it that yeah. we're planning with Epcot as well. So good night, we love you, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Toodles.